rest of the vocabulary or the rest of the unit, our uh, unit 10 dance entertainment. As you can see that we have the list here that you have in the booklet, let's go through the explanation and the definitions as long as the examples as well. The first word that we have is entertainment, because the unit is called dance entertainment. And entertainment is a noun. Shows, films, television, or other performances or activities that keep people interested or amused. The verb is to entertain, the adjective is entertaining or entertained. The example that we have of this season's entertainments include five new plays and several concerts of Chinese and Indian music. To entertain someone is to amuse him. To put him in a state where is he having fun. Having fun from watching a movie, having fun from watching a series, having fun from whatever they are doing, just enjoying their time. Number two is to reschedule, and this is a verb, is to change the time of a planned event. For instance, the event is taking place at 2 o'clock. Uh, no, you have to reschedule to make it at 3. So you have to tell everyone that the new time or the reschedule is going to be on 3. So reschedule is a verb to change the time of a planned event. And number three is sheet music. And as you can see, the sheet music is a noun. Music in its printed or written forms, especially single sheets of paper, not formed into a book. Musicians have to create their sheet music for the concert. So as you can see, this is very obvious from the, the word itself. Those are the sheets that's written before the song is made or before it's printed. This is it's printed or written for it, especially single sheets of paper, not for it into a book. Number four, the word inquiry, and of course that's an noun, an act of asking for information, and its word is to inquire. For instance, if you could see um, whenever there is a poster in advert saying for inquiry or for more inquiry, please call the number blah blah blah. So this means that if you have any questions or anything uh, that you want to ask for, this is the meaning of the word inquiry. You see the example? There are continuous inquiry, which is questioning about my grandparents' house and appreciated by everyone. Word number five is series. The series is a noun. A set of television or radio broadcasts. Like for instance, you have to wait 30 series to finish the whole book. Series is like an episode, the synonym of an episode. So you have to finish, it, finish the 30 series in order to understand the whole plot or the whole story. Number six is addition. And addition, of course, is an L. As you can see this one over here. Addition is an L, which means a short performance that an actor, musician, dancer gives in order to show their ability. His audition went well, and he was able to join the semi-final. So this is not a rehearsal, no. An addition is something that you do in order to perform. A performance that you do in order to go to a better place. Like for instance, in order to join the semi-finals or the final, this is the audition. Like what we can see in Adam's Got Talent or Europe's Got Talent, America's Got Talent, and all those kinds of shows. We have the word commence, and commence is a verb, which means to begin or to start something. For example, here we will commence building work in August for next year, which means we will start the building work. And of course, the noun, as you can see here, is commencement. The word number eight is attached, and attached is a verb, means to fasten, join, or connect to a place or fix in a position. I attach the photo to my application form, which means I put a photo with my application form. I, here's the application form, I'll attach the photo to it, I'll put it with it. And you can find this word in an email, which is an attachment, it's something that you add into the email as well. And then we have the word acoustic, and acoustic is an adjective relating to sound or hearing, describes a musical instrument that is not made loud in my electrical equipment. The example, I couldn't afford my acoustic guitar this year. The word number 10, purchase, and of course this is a verb, and uh, which is both, and the noun is purchase. Tickets must be purchased two, three, two weeks in advance, and those means to be bought, something that you have to pay money in order to, to take it or have it. The word number 11 is scratch, and this is a noun, a mark made from cutting or damaging the surface, and the verb is to scratch. There was a scratch on the CD. To scratch something is to put a mark on it using your, and maybe your fingernail or something like that. Something pointy to cause a scratch. 
Then the word number 12 is hits, and this is the most successful songs, or the most successful songs, the hits of the uh, year. We have just released a CD of the greatest hits. So hit means a very successful song that have made lots of uh, revenues and uh, lots of people got it and hear it as well. Number 13, requested. This is a verb to politely or officially ask for something, to request something, to ask for something. We requested that the next meeting would be held on Friday. Number 14, advert, and, uh, advert, and this is a noun. Advertisement, a picture, short movie, so song. It tries to persuade people to buy a product or service. It's an advertisement, it's something that you see in order to know what the quality or anything is. That's why you go and buy it. For instance, here we can see adverts for new flats in the newspapers. Those are all advertisements in order to make you buy and, and, and go and see what's happening, what you're doing. 15. Festival Hall. This is a place where special occasions or performances are held, like the Festival Hall. looks very exciting with its colored lights and Christmas tree. 16. A lift. This is a noun. A free journey in order to person, vehicle, especially in a car. I'll give you a lift to the station if you want. Someone takes you from one place to another using his own car. This is called a lift. 17. Drum kit. A set of drums and cymbals played by one person. You know, this drums, you sit and you keep drumming up. This is what you do and what we call the second self. This is a drum kit. His band is used to the play the drum kit as a member of the rock band. 18 here is a documentary, a film or a television or radio program that gives facts and information about a subject. 19 is the composer, a person who writes music, especially classical music, and the verb is to compose. A composer is the one who, uh, who makes or who writes the music. But the documentary is a film that sees or, or uh, watches, you see, it captures or uh, uh, records what the eyes see. That's a documentary. And of course, the composer is a person who writes the music. Like, for instance, here, Prokofiev is a famous composer who started at the age of five. Musician, this is a very easy word. Someone is skilled in playing music usually as a job. Script is the word of film, play, pro broadcast, or speech. The one that the, uh, the actors have to follow and read. The lyrics are the words of the song, especially the pop song. Paul Simpson writes the lyrics for the most of his songs. So the lyrics are the words that you hear in the song. So, opera is a noun, a series of the television or radio programs about the lives of a particular group of characters, which continues for a long period of time. Example, I'm fed up watching soap operas as I got bored. The soap opera here, as I said, a series theme or uh, a group of episodes collected together, but those one, especially about a life of a particular group of characters which continues for a long period of time. So it focuses on the life of a particular group, not on a, a, a story or just a, something like that. Uh, then we have the word producer, who is a person who makes the practical and financial arrangements needed to make a CD, a film, or a program. The one who is responsible for money, this is what we call the producer. The producer has to provide all facilities for everyone working in the movie. This is the last example that we have. My dear students, I'll ask you to solve this exercise as a homework. This one, all of this exercise, along with exercise two. I want you to uh, leave the on spam for the next session. I'll solve it with you. So just stop at here. Exercise one, exercise two. By the next session, inshallah, I will be solving with you the grammar homework for the last time and the homework for the next unit. Good luck for you.